Hey y'all, so it's your redneck boy Trip Dipper here. Going in for another video, I'm going in. So, uh, bunch of random little things. So let's, uh, let's pack a slip. It's the edge of this can, but I got three more open, unopened ones. So, and we'll jump into what's going down today. Oh. By the way, anyone that's packed my lip for me, cheers. Alrighty. What's up, y'all? So, <laughs> HB, first of all, those snuff goggles are hilarious. And, uh, even my wife said those are cooler and shit, so I might just have to. I won't sell them like you are saying to, but, uh, I might have to make me a pair for her. So, got the dip goggles on and whatnot. That's the stuff. That's pretty cool, man. That's That should be like your little. Your, like your intro or whatever. That'd be funny as hell. So, I don't know if I guys had showed you guys this, but if anyone's tried this sweet tea, it's actually pretty good. It's called Pure Leaf. Uh, it's real brewed, no preservatives, no added color, and it's all natural. So, it's pretty good. It's good sweet tea. It's really good. Anyways, there it is. That's what it looks like. We got another, I got a surprise coming hopefully soon. She'll be sending it before I'm out and about doing my thing. But the wife is supposed to be sending another little care package. That's kind of exciting. We don't really know. I only know one thing that's going to be in there, and that is the seasonal Copenhagen Black. With the different can. Now I've tried and have. And really enjoyed the Copenhagen Black. That you can just buy year round. Doesn't taste like, taste like the Cope Whiskey Blend. But. It's definitely. It's, it's good. It's got it's own distinct taste. Like that barrel. I didn't think it was salty. One of my friends thought it was salty. I, I didn't think so. But, you know, Saturday, October 9th, 8th, 9th, 9th, Saturday the 9th, and I was doing some, uh, working on some cedar today, messing with cedar and putting things, tripping it, you know, trimming it down to go into those waste biscuits, baskets, and, uh, Man, I, I was I was on a video chat with my wife real quick, and uh, as I was trimming things, and my wife had never seen Vinca, you know. And if you're thinking about laying that down into your and it, don't. Okay, it is horrible, and it is a bitch to pull out straight up. Oh. Before I forget, man, smash that like button for me. Let's see if we can hit like 25 likes. All right. So I'm also going to do another uh, screenshots of everyone's channels. I'll post them on Instagram. Just so that we can try and... Get everybody out there and name out there and whatnot. So today, that's that's about that's about what I was meaning about that. But is there anything else I can bring up? 
Ram. A freaking, uh, mm. So I do have this little random thing that's going on tomorrow evening. A house owner is coming to come talk to me. He owns a house and rents out the other two rooms. Well, one of them right now, one of them is becoming available the day after I leave my grandparents' house. So, and I'm not even sure, like, where it's located. Like, he said somewhere out on, like, Highway 30, which is, like, towards, going towards St. Helens and St. John's, which, I mean, it just kind of depends, really, on what well, the you know, because the bus runs here, like, every 15 minutes. That's the best thing about being in this area that I'm in right now. When I was in Boise, man, the bus comes, like, once an hour. Like, if you don't have a vehicle and you live in Boise... It's, 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 it sucks, man. It's shitty. Because, you know, it's, it's a decent sized little town, Boise is. And, uh, the biking, I mean, you just see, especially, like, where I lived. I lived, like, right over off of Shinden, which is, like, the highway that goes through to go into downtown. And I saw... In a matter of three days, three car crashes at the intersection right there. Now, I didn't see any, like, bicyclists get hit. But there's, like, I mean, the bike lane compared to what, like, and the way that people drive there is just horrible. They suck. So, people need to learn how to drive. That's, that's just, and all you bicyclists, be careful. Fucking be careful, because they ain't paying attention. I ain't paying attention. You have to pay attention for yourself. You always have to look out for yourself. And that's just what I've learned is that no matter what situation, you've got to make sure that you're okay. Period. And, you know, I just, uh, oh, I didn't, HB, I, I'm, I apologize prior, I, prior to this. I did not thank you for sharing the Respect the Vets video on your personal Facebook page. It got me some views. I appreciate it. So thank you. So, let's see your boy Trip Dipper. I'll go ahead and either, I don't know if I'm going to call it a night. I uh, think I'm going to try and find a movie to watch on my tablet. Relax. So the wife gets home to her, you know, back to her mom's house from the concert she's at with her sister, which I hope she's having a good time at. She went and saw her sister. Man, this is weird. So her sister is not really the kind of person I would see to, like, go to one of these shows. But she's going to, like, Kurt Cobain's. I don't know if you know who that is. He's, like, this, like, trill rap artist. He's not bad. Like he's not bad. He's he's actually pretty good. But it was just weird to hear that this is the kind of stuff that my sister in law is going to do. And that's not even like she listens to country music and you know, rides a horse and like whatnot. So it's just a little different. So anyways, that that's that's that about wraps it up for me. So it's your boy Trip Dipper. I'm out. Salute. I'm in a fucking tripper day, by the way.